Hi, I'm Dr. Marisa Weiss. I'm president and founder of breastcancer.org. I'm also a practicing oncologist and mom and also a breast cancer survivor. So I'm happy to share information with you today that could help protect your life against breast cancer. Inflammatory breast cancer is relatively unusual. It only accounts for about one to 6% of all breast cancers to affect women. And it tends to be an aggressive form of breast cancer. It comes on with usually pinkness, swelling of the breast, and enlargement sort of of the whole breast. And only about a half the time is there also a lump inside the breast. The reason for the pinkness and the swelling is the breast cancer cells involve the skin of the breast and kind of block drainage of the fluid draining off the breast, and that's why the breast gets enlarged. It used to be that inflammatory breast cancer involved a high risk of death. The good news is that with effective treatment from all the disciplines, surgery, chemotherapy, hormonal therapy, targeted therapy, and radiation therapy, together with supportive care, many women who have inflammatory breast cancer can have a long lifespan and be cancer free. Another thing to notice is that if you have pinkness and swelling of the breast and your doctor thinks it could just be a mastitis, which means an infection of the breast, go ahead and try the antibiotic treatment that they'll prescribe for you. But if the breast pinkness and swelling does not respond to the antibiotics, it's important to take it a step further and ask to see a breast specialist because many cases of inflammatory breast cancer are diagnosed on the later side of things because the primary care physician thinks it's an infection of the breast, um, which it usually is. But if it doesn't respond like an infection should, then you need to take it to the next step, check it out, and make sure that there's nothing more serious going on like inflammatory breast cancer.